This video will explore submitted samples and how a sample can be submitted and later modified using the API. At this point, our users should already be familiar with the concepts of a submitted sample. Just as when submitting through the graphic user interface, every sample requires an associated project and container. Some user-defined fields may also be configured to be required for your submitted samples. First, we will create a new project by doing a post to the project's endpoint. Required to make a new project is a project name and a researcher. Let's hit post to create the project. The post returned a 201 response indicating a successful project creation. The response payload includes the assigned project limbs ID. The project can now be seen in the GUI under a pending status. Project information can be modified using a put. By adding an open date, the project status is now indicated to be open. Updating the project with a close date will mark the status as closed. I will remove the close date node to mark the status as open so we can submit a sample. I will now create the sample by doing a post to the sample's endpoint. I've provided the URI of the project we have just created. A submitted sample must also have a container location value. I am using a container that has already been created in the limbs with an empty well v1. A successful post will return a payload with the sample limbs ID. Samples is the only endpoint to support a delete method allowing a sample to be deleted only if no work has been performed. Once a sample enters a step, tracking has begun and the sample record may no longer be deleted. A put to that sample URI allows us to modify the sample name or add a value to a user-defined field. The sample is now ready to be submitted into a workflow. Advance your knowledge by creating samples with the batch create endpoint. 